Want to start a business that you can start from home and in your spare time? What if I told you that you can start this business with almost no money up front, minimal running costs, no employees, no customers, and relatively no hassles? Starting to sound pretty good, right? The kicker is that this business can generate massive amounts of passive income over time. If this sounds interesting to you, you're in the right place. Blogging can be a terrific way to accomplish all of this. I started my first blog around a year and a half ago in my spare time, and it now makes thousands of dollars per month, so I can personally say that this business can absolutely deliver on all the promises I just mentioned, if done right. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a blog from scratch in six simple steps. I'm going to explain each step in detail and provide you with some of my best pro tips along the way. Let's get into it. Step one, find your niche. The first thing you need to do is figure out what you want to write about. The topic you choose is often referred to as a niche. Your niche can be anything you find interesting or have some knowledge about, usually both. Examples of popular niches include fitness, food, personal finance, lifestyle, fashion, travel, technology, gaming, and so on. You can drill down even further and write about sub-niches. For example, instead of writing about food, which is a gigantic niche, you can specialize in something like vegan cooking on a budget. Step 2. Select a domain name. Once you have settled on your niche, it's time to set up your website. There are two key steps to this process. The first is selecting and buying a domain name. This is basically your web address. You can buy one at places like Namecheap.com for around $10 or so per year. I use them because they are, as the name implies, cheap, and I've never had a problem with them. There is an affiliate link to them below. In fact, I'll include affiliate links for all the providers I mention in this video so you can access them easily. A lot of domain names have already been taken, so you'll need to find one that reflects your niche and is still available. If you're in the US, definitely try to get a .com domain. They are the most coveted and trusted domains and will help you attract US traffic, which is the most lucrative type of traffic. Some tips I would follow in choosing a domain name are to make it somewhat broad so you can write about a variety of topics and to keep it short and simple so it's easy to remember and less prone to typing errors. Step 3. Select a hosting provider. The next step is to select a hosting provider for your website. A hosting provider performs the essential function of allowing your website to become available through the internet. When I started my blog, I used SiteGround, but later migrated to Cloudways as my site grew. You can start with either. They are both high quality and relatively affordable. I provide a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to create a website on SiteGround in my article below. Before I forget, make sure you get an SSL certificate and then configure your site to enforce HTTPS. You have to get this done in the beginning before you start writing any posts. Google cares about site security, so you need to do this. Step 4. Select a content management system. Once you've set up your site, you will need to choose your content management system. This is basically software that helps a website owner create, manage, and modify content on a website without a lot of technical knowledge. So what you do is you log into this system and you create blog posts, revise them, delete them, etc. You can also make changes to your homepage and any other page you want. You will be spending a lot of time in your content management system, so it's good to get to know it. I use WordPress and most bloggers do the same. It's powerful and easy to use and because everyone uses it, you can troubleshoot issues easily. Plus, it's almost always free when you get hosting. Step 5. Write articles that generate traffic. Okay, so we've gone through the setup. Now it's time to write your articles. If you want to make money as a blogger, you need to unlock the secret of writing articles that will generate traffic. I rely mostly on Google search to drive traffic to my website because it's free and you can get tons of visitors through this. Other options include getting traffic from links that you place through social media platforms like YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, and so on. But for me, nothing beats Google search. To get this type of traffic, you want to be ranking number one or at least on the first page of Google search results for the relevant topic, or keyword as it's often called. 
The key to doing this is to find topics that are popular enough that a lot of people are searching for it, but where the search results consist of articles that aren't 100% on point or that you can beat by writing a high quality article that's better. My article on how to start a blog from scratch goes into specifics on how you can do this. Step six, monetize your blog. The last step is to monetize your blog. Once your blog is getting decent traffic, you want to be able to make money from that traffic. The easiest and most passive way to do this is by selling ad space on your website to companies. Now you don't need to reach out to companies directly to do this. You usually secure ad placements through an ad network. Google AdSense is probably the biggest player in this space. Plus, they're easy to qualify for. You don't need huge traffic numbers to get it. But as your blog grows, you will want to consider more premium ad networks like Mediavine and AdThrive. I really like Ezoic when you're starting out because they're easy to qualify for and, in general, I found them to pay more than Google AdSense. Plus, they offer free hosting, tools to speed up your website, and a lot more, and of course all of that is free. I have an affiliate link to them below. Now I use Ezoic myself and I think they're really the best option for most blogs who are starting out. Of course, there are other ways to monetize your blog. Affiliate marketing is a very popular way to make money as a blogger. You're basically a salesperson for a particular product that you want to promote, but instead of knocking on doors or calling people up, you sell the product online. A common method of affiliate marketing is putting affiliate links on your website. How do you do this? First, identify the product you want to promote. If it's a physical product, one of the best ways to promote that product is to go to Amazon Associates and join up. It's free and there are basically no significant qualification barriers. Just go to their website and give them your info, including your domain name. Pick the item that you want to promote and Amazon will give you a customized affiliate link that you can place on your website. Every time a visitor to your blog clicks on the link and buys the product, you will get a commission. Of course, there are certain conditions that apply, like the customer must buy something within 24 hours of clicking on your link or you won't get credit. Other affiliate programs operate similarly, so if you want to promote something that isn't on Amazon, you can search for their affiliate program by typing in the company name and affiliate program in a Google search. You will often find that they have a program that you can apply for. When doing affiliate marketing, I don't suggest recommending products unless you are a true believer. For example, for this video, I've included a number of affiliate links below, but I'm an active user of the products or services and can attest to their awesomeness. Doing this helps preserve your credibility and allows your customers to get products that are actually tested for their quality. So there you have it, six steps to starting your blogging business and some expert tips on how to succeed. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It helps a ton and I would really appreciate it.